welcome to Family in Africa. Thank you. Yeah, so we are very happy to have you here. Can you please introduce yourself and let us know why you are here? Okay, my name is um, Eze Ebenezer Chinomso. I'm the manager of Massey Farms Limited, Ezeni Itembise Amomra in Imo State in Nigeria. We are here to see what you guys are doing and um, see how you guys are raising your goods, especially the Boa, Kalahari, the White Savannah goods, and also see how you've been planting the Bracaria and Alfalfa grass seeds. You know, that's why we're here. And also to partner with you guys and, you know, see what you are doing and, you know, keen to that, you know, for optimum success. Okay, so you've been here since morning, and as you can see, it's, it's night. Yeah. You've been here the whole day. Yeah. So can you give like a first impression of you when you go to the farm? What's the first impression that you got? Yeah, uh, when you guys took me around, took me around with my friend here in the morning, you know, everything we saw, we were amazed. You know, we never knew that you know, such a practice is going on in Africa, you know, and we are so happy with what we saw. We're so delighted to see what you guys are doing, how you're planting the grasses, you know, and how you're doing what you're doing, you know. So we are happy to be here today. Okay. Yeah. And so from now, what what's the plan? Like, what do you plan to do from here? From what you as soon as we get to Accra, we are picking the grass seeds, the bracaria, and the alfalfa seeds, and then when we get back to Nigeria, we're gonna order for the Bua goods, one male and two females, the Kalahari, one male and two females, the White Savannah, one male and two females. We're gonna start small with those and then and with time we increase, you know, our production. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's, that's what we're gonna do. You know, as soon as we get out of here, we are so excited, so we'll go, just go straight to your shop in Accra and, you know, purchase the goods and maybe order for some salt leaks because probably you won't be able to travel with those. Then you have to wave them to us. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so just a bit of context. Can you tell us what your farm is like now in Nigeria? All right. Yeah, we are into animal farming and crop farming too. You know, we are into poultry. We are into piggery. We are into um, rabbits. And we are also about to start our good farming, which is why we came here, you know. The building, we started the building, you know, it's going on now. And so I believe in the next couple of months, our building will be done. The next one month or two, we'll complete the building and then. But we just want to get the bracaria and alfalfa seeds and start planting them prior to when the goats will come in. Yes, exactly what we're going to do. We're gonna initiate, you know, put into action everything we've seen here, you know, today. Since morning we've been here, you know, so everything we've seen, we're gonna put it into practice. We're gonna plant the seeds in, in the nursery and then, you know, transplant it, you know, because we have a lot of land, you know, to graze these animals. Yeah. Okay. So what do you tell the youth out there who still think agriculture is in the way, they don't believe in the vision to enter into agriculture? Can you share with us your experience yeah, with farming? A, a lot of young people, you know, they go to the city seeking out white collar jobs, which they don't eventually, you know, grab, you know, and then they waste their useful time. You know, so many youths waste their time, you know, in, you know chasing after white collar jobs. But they forget that um, farming is the root of nature in the sense that, you know, without farming, you won't be able to feed. You know, food is the first, um, is, is first priority, you know, to every human being. So if you have to eat to have energy to be able to process all the metabolic activities in your body, to be able to work, you have to eat and you have to feed well. So. Um, farming is is the best for me. I I, I don't like any other job now. I'm a farmer, yeah. you know. So I also encourage you to you know go into farming. Let them key into farming. If you need knowledge, you seek out the knowledge. If you don't have the knowledge, you have to seek it out, you know, and be able to you know do what you have to do, you know, the right way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, I like, I like 
like where you said you have to seek out knowledge. Yeah. So most people enter farming without first yeah. knowing what it's about and all that. But so it's it's good that you've come here to see for yourself and also learn yeah. how we are doing yeah. at farming in Africa. Yeah. And also, uh, how will you recommend farming in Africa to? Uh, there are people who maybe they don't believe what we are doing here. A lot of people maybe because oh okay, maybe they are scammers. They want to take our money uh, to bring them goods, but. You are here, you've seen the goods for yourself and you've seen what you are doing here, what you are trying to build. So how would you recommend farming in Africa? As soon as I leave here, you know, I'm going to recommend farming to Africa to anybody who cares to grab the knowledge because knowledge is expensive, you know. We flew all the way from Nigeria, you know, to this place. We know how much we've spent on flight tickets, on food, hotel bills, transportation, cab and all that. You know, it's for us to grab the knowledge. So, um, you don't beg people to acquire knowledge. It's, it, it, you have to be your own concern. You have to be in need of knowledge. If you're in need of knowledge, you, you got to go seek it out. You know, which is why we're here. So, as soon as I go here, I'm going to recommend farming, you know, in Africa to anyone who cares, you know, to grab the knowledge because knowledge is expensive you don't you don't beg people to give them knowledge you know if you want knowledge you know you go seek it out so but um for those who will be privileged to come around me i'm gonna show them videos i'm gonna show them pictures and i'm gonna recommend you guys to them you know so that they can come down here probably to see it for themselves what you guys are doing and also to purchase the goods themselves purchase the seeds themselves especially the seeds I'm gonna, you know, be marketing the seeds for you people in Nigeria. Yeah. 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 Seriously, I'm gonna do that, and even on my WhatsApp, on my YouTube, and all the social medias that I'm attached to, I'm gonna, you know, you know, broadcast this good message yes. because this is is just like the, the gospel. This is a gospel, you know. I'm gonna share the gospel to whoever who whoever cares to, you know, listen to the gospel because um. You know, normally when you see you see people you know grazing their animals the cows and the goats you know they just leave them to you know fend for themselves you know and some of those grasses like the elephant grass they are not all that nutritious you know panicum maximum they're not all that nutritious you know but I'm, i was so surprised you know when i came in here you know when you guys took us to the other side you know, where you planted the bracaria in large quantity, in large numbers, yeah. I was amazed. I never knew, you know, something like this, especially the goats. Yeah. You know, the, the rapid, you know, um, their rate of maturity yeah. is so rapid. Mm -hmm. Like the small one you said is less than four days. Yeah, even, yeah. And those ones that are less than four months, you know, you seldom see that in the normal West African dwarf goats or normal goats, you know. I was amazed, you know, I was amazed when I came in here and saw everything. <laughs> I believe I'll have to come back here again, you know. You know, that'll be when you finish the, yeah, big pen. Yeah, the big pen. Yeah. So, you know, I'm, I'm delighted to be here. It's worth it. The expenditure uh, is worth it, you know. Is what it, the knowledge is what it. I'm happy, as you can see. I'm smiling. <laughs> okay, all right. So yeah. Yeah. So thank yeah. You very much. My name is Ebenezer Chinomso Eze. Okay. Yeah. I'm here with my colleague. Much good, much good promise. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, we we really enjoy the place. Actually, we really enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, I think I uh, see something different yeah. when it comes to when it comes to. You know, grazing of a uh, goat, yeah, it's really, it's really interesting. I really enjoy it. At least I'm seeing a different thing. Yes. Regards what the way we we, we, we grow goat over there in Nigeria is quite different. With the grasses, yeah, man, I, I really see something different. Yeah, I really something different, and uh, we are happy to be here. At least we have gathered a little knowledge which we could use when we get to Nigeria, you understand? When getting the seed, going there to plant it, and in a few months time, yeah. probably we are going to purchase some of the goods yeah. down to Nigeria in order to start our, you understand? Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome.